Today we're going to talk about the great white shark. I'm your host, Malcolm Walker. The great white shark is the largest predatory fish on the planet. It can grow over 20 feet long and weigh almost two tons. That's bigger than a full-grown polar bear. And even though it's not the biggest fish in the sea, it is definitely one of the scariest. Great whites are known to be aggressive and curious. They often attack boats and swimmers, sometimes just out of curiosity or playfulness. But they're also responsible for the most shark attacks on humans. There are three times as many attacks from great whites than from any other kind of shark. Most shark attacks happen near the shore where people are swimming or surfing. That's because that's where the seals and sea lions are, which are the favorite foods of the great white sharks. There are lots of great white sharks around the world, but the largest population lives off the coast of South Africa. This shark is so massive that it has its own species. The scientific name of this shark is Carcharodon, Carcharadas. The name comes from the Greek word karukados, which means sharp, and shiraz, which means shining. The name couldn't have been given to a nicer fish. Even though they're called great white sharks, they're actually more of a grayish color. They get their nickname because of their white bellies and the white tips of their fins. When they're young, they're born with a dark bluish color, but they slowly turn gray as they get older. Great white sharks are apex predators, which means they're at the top of the food chain. They eat almost anything they want, including fish, seals, sea lions, dolphins, turtles, birds, other sharks, and even whales. And they won't only eat meat, they will also eat plants and seaweed. They use their powerful jaws to chomp through their food. Their jaws are so strong that they can crack open a turtle shell or crunch through a sea lion's skull with ease. But when they're done eating, they don't need to clean up after themselves. Their skin has tiny scales that act like little sieves. The sieves catch small pieces of food that would otherwise fall through their mouths and onto the ocean floor. If a shark loses a tooth while eating, no need to worry. They have rows and rows of teeth. And if one gets damaged or falls out, another one will take its place. That happens because their teeth aren't attached to bone. Instead, each tooth is its own individual structure, held in place by ligaments. As a tooth grows underneath it, the old tooth is pushed forward until it falls out and the new tooth moves into place. These sharks live alone and only get together to mate. Females are usually larger than males. Since they don't get together very often, scientists don't know much about their mating habits. However, they do know that females must be around 15 years old before they're able to have babies. That's because females only get pregnant every two to three years, and each pregnancy lasts for a year and a half. That's longer than the gestation period of any other mammal. When it's time to give birth, the mother gives birth to between two and five babies. Newborn sharks are anywhere from four to six feet long and are born fully developed. That means they can hunt, find food, and defend themselves right away. Although they're fully developed, they're still considered babies until they're about 13 feet long, which can take several years. Great white sharks are hunted by killer whales, but there isn't much else that will hunt them. One reason is that they have so many natural enemies that there aren't many places where they can go to get away from all of them. Also, they tend to swim in the open ocean where few predators can reach them. Another reason is that they're simply too big and dangerous to be hunted. Because of their size and strength, great white sharks are one of the most feared creatures in the ocean. And even though they don't usually attack humans, we should still be careful when we're in their territory. If we could unswim with a buddy system in place, and we could unt bring any shiny objects that might attract them, remember if you go into the water looking like a seal, you're probably going to get treated like one. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to make sure you never miss an awesome animal fact.